Welcome again to the lecture series, The Ascended Masters Answer the Fundamental Questions of Life. This lesson is entitled Lesson 6, Part 3. Now we come to the mental body. The mental body was formed out of the substance of the air. It was designed to be the chalice for the receptivity of divine ideas. It has the power to mold these ideas into workable form. The mind is contained in the mental body. The mental body was created to be the instrument to hold the pattern or vision of perfection, to build the form of whatever you desire to manifest, holding it until the feeling energized it for physical manifestation. Mankind has used this process in reverse by holding in the mind pictures of imperfection generated through seeing, hearing and talking, propelling into manifestation by energizing these perfect pictures through the feelings. If the space between the electrons of the mental body becomes filled with the effluvia caused by depression, discouragement, resentment and rebellion, the mental body becomes sluggish. It may become so sluggish that it is no longer receptive to the final thoughts and inspirations. You know, it often happens that when you try to comfort people in distress, they do not seem to hear your words of consolation or encouragement. The mental body is so bogged down, the vibration action is so negative that it is absolutely unresponsible to any inspiration, even to that from the Christ Self. Watch what you invite to be the guests of your mental body for the next 24 hours. Observe your habits of thought, feeling and the spoken word. What about the emotional body? What is his purpose? The emotional body, the largest of the four lower bodies, contains our feeling world. Its correct service is to nourish divine ideas with a positive feeling of accomplishment, to radiate the nature of God and every virtue of happiness, purity, mercy, forgiveness and peace. The mental body was designed to create form. The feeling body was created to nourish that form with qualified life. Having total control of feelings is a desirable goal. Is it necessary that all of this energy be transmuted into perfection by placing all human qualities with the God qualities of divine love, peace, harmony, happiness, and other constructive attributes? The transmuting violet flame will help to do this. When the emotional body was created, it was made of electrons drawn from the emotional realm, the realm of feeling, the realm of the angels and the archangels. Your emotional body is made up of millions of tiny electrons in constant movement. These form the atoms. Now, if the vibration of the electrons is in harmony with that of your threefold flame in your heart, that's great. Then your emotional body naturally deflects all destructive feelings projected at you, as well as all the discordant energy which you contact. You are then the master control of all energy wherever you are. Now we come to the etheric body. Within your etheric body is stored the etheric record of everything you have ever experienced, from before the time of your first embodiment to the present. Therefore there is registered in your etheric bodies every constructive as well as every discordant thought, feeling, spoken word and deed you have ever seen, heard, felt, spoke or done during your embodiments and when not in embodiment. The etheric body 
is the one most connected to the physical and it is the one with which you travel at night when you sleep. Mother Mary said in January 1958, what mankind does to one another in creating these deep wounds in the etheric body is much more unfortunate than wounds inflicted on the physical body. Why? Because the physical body one day disintegrates, but the etheric body, however, stays with man from embodiment to embodiment until it is finally absorbed in the I am presence at the instant of the ascension. When you live over and over again the distressing things of the past, you energize them to again act in your world. This is why in recounting the history of mankind, the masters never told of the destructive records of wars and injuries to the physical bodies. Now to the physical body. The physical body provides the anchorage to the earth. It is the vehicle through which man functions, in which man has the capacity to expand the borders of God's kingdom on this planet. The physical body, therefore, is the temple of the living God. Originally, the physical body was not as dense as it is now. It vibrated at a much higher level and consists of what we would call today etheric substance. Mankind, as it existed during the first golden age, would appear to us today as etheric, misty, shadowy beings, but of identical form as mankind today. Looking at the picture of the chart of the I Am Presence, the violet fire is seen blazing up through and around the physical body. It is the divine tool which the Ascended Master Saint Germain has brought to mankind. Through the use of the violet fire, each one may transmute his mistakes of the past back into perfection once again. The silver cord enters the physical body at the top of the head, which is the soft spot of the newborn baby, and provides the connection to the Christ Self and to the I Am Presence. It is the life-giving, life-maintaining fount of energy. If left without this fountain of life force, the physical body could not operate and so-called death would ensue. The brain is the physical organ through which the mind functions. It registers impressions from the outer world. The brain, therefore, is the vehicle of the mind. The nervous system functions like a network of fine wires which are message bearers of thought and feeling impulses to all parts of the body. Through the spinal cord of every person, two activities work constantly. The descendant arc of electrical energy which anchors the body to the surface of the earth and the powerful ascending current which enables one to stand erect and move about other than to crawl on the ground. With this explanation behind us, we can fully understand and appreciate the function of our seven bodies. Simply stated, they were created so that we may fulfill the promise all of us made centuries ago when we vowed to expand God's kingdom to this planet Earth. Hopefully this lesson will be of help on your path to mastery and eventually to the ascension. Thank you and God bless you.